Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Capricorn at the foundation, please? Chariot, Cancer Energy at the Foundation. Okay, so there's some sort of victory that you're moving towards, Cappy. Depending on where you are on this timeline, it's a very focused energy. It's a very determined energy. It's an energy of action and change, and it has something to do with your foundation, your stability. Something that involves you really standing in your power as well. Yellow energy drawing me to the solar plexus, which is all related to you standing in your power. Overcoming an energy where you're no longer feeling powerless and inferior to some sort of circumstances in your life. Five of Wands, Leo energy at the sacral. There's a lot of people that have something to say about this, Cappy. I feel like there's a lot of peed off people out there. They don't like the fact that you're taking control over your life again. They want you to feel isolated, fearful of your environment. They want to be able to feed off of you for narcissistic supply is basically what it comes down to, Gabby. Five of Wands is all about obstacles, challenges, rivalries in your life. It's a very pessimistic energy that I feel you're leaving behind. What do we have at the solar plexus? Nine of Wands, Gemini energy at the solar plexus. I feel these energies now have to lie in the bed they made for you. A bed of anxiety, grief, depression. They're very sorry, Cappy, that they weren't able to keep you trapped. They're very sorry that they're not able to make you feel powerless to them anymore. They don't know how they lost control over you. It's because they became very arrogant. I feel you were stuck with this individual or individuals, workplace, living situation, however this shows up for you, for a very, very long time, Cappy. Nothing ever changed. Things just got progressively worse. Cappy, I'm getting a very resilient energy from you guys. Despite how horrendous this energy was, despite all of the actions that they took towards keeping you trapped inside this karmic, de-evolving energy, you did manage to make some steps forward. You worked as hard as you possibly could to even get the smallest growth in your life. It's that resilience and determination which eventually reached the divine. The divine was able to get a message through to you, possibly through your intuition or some circumstances in your environment that just kind of woke you up to something. The divine was like, Cappy, wake up. You've been trapped inside that karmic cycle for years now. We've been trying to get messages through to you that you're trapped with demons. And Cappy, I feel like you finally got the message. So with that said, these energies you were trapped with have failed their mission. They have failed their master, Lucifer. They were meant to keep you stuck for a lifetime, not able to see your way forward. Strength, Leo energy, at the heart. Uh, it's, your it's your courage. The self-respect that you always had for yourself, Cappy that allowed you to see the truth. You gave these individuals the benefit of the doubt for far too long. But now you're pushing forward. You've been patient enough. And it's your fortitude and inner strength that's allowing you to step into a new timeline, more focus on the yellow, taking control back over your life. Standing in your personal power. Eight of Swords in reverse at the throat. Gemini energy. 
This is an energy of releasing yourself from this demonic prison they had you trapped in. You see now that the prison door was always open, but they programmed you in a certain way that made you think that this was it. This was your lot in life. That this is where you're supposed to be. Picking up a Cinderella energy here from you, Cappy. Okay, what are we going to take here? We're going to take both these. Tower at the third eye, Aries energy. Hermit, Virgo energy at the crown. My third eye position in my readings are where the divine is trying to get you. My crown position is what the divine wants you to utilize, the, the energy the divine wants you to utilize to get yourself through this situation. So tower at the third eye. This is an energy of you ascending. You shifting the foundation, breaking away, dropping the tower. It's an energy of upheaval. It's an energy of change. It's also an energy of disgrace, disgrace that these individuals now have to live with, people seeing them for who they truly are. Because all of a sudden you're doing great in your life and they're no longer a part of it. They were always the common denominator in your struggles, Cappy. Let me repeat that. They were always the common denominator in your struggles. Hermit, Virgo energy at the crown. This is you using your inner guidance that the divine is giving you, like we picked up back here. The instruction manual to get through this karmic cycle. Seeking understanding from a soul level. Listening to your inner guidance. What do we have at the foundation place from the Ecotera? Oof. King of Cups, Alistair, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is like King of Cups in reverse. This is an emotionally abusive manipulator. This is a very volatile individual. And I feel this is the individual or individuals. This is just the overall energy that was keeping you trapped inside this karmic cycle. Look at that lovely character. Oh, there's a lot going on there, huh? This person manipulated your emotions, took advantage of you. I feel like you always felt like you had to try and make this person happy, however that shows up for you. But nothing you ever did changed anything. This is a very moody individual. They keep people at their beck and call by being moody all the time, right? Very volatile. I know these types. What do we have at the sacral, please? My father was like that. Always moody and volatile, right? So you always feel like you need to walk on eggshells and do something for them so they don't act up, right? It's just basically a, a, a big child is what it comes down to. Ace of Swords, Citri. So this is like Ace of Swords in reverse energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is an energy of stress. Confusion. It's an energy of chaos right underneath this Five of Wands. It's swords all related to your mentals, right? Messing with your emotions. Projecting things onto you so you second guess yourself. Look, here you are, right? Yes, Master, please don't, don't get mad. Don't act up. I, well, what do you need? What do you need? Right? It's like an energy of almost being scared all the time. What do we have at the solar plexus? Eight of Swords, right underneath that, Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy, Folklore. So this is you now releasing yourself from this mental imprisonment that they tried to trap you in, realizing you don't need to be there. This is an energy of freedom. Hope coming back to you now. You driving forward, stepping into your personal power. What do we have at the heart, please? Too many cards. What do we have at the heart? Eight of Wands, Renov, Sag Energy at the heart. Slavery. This is like Eight of Wands in reverse. This is an energy of delays. It's a very frustrating energy. The individuals you're dealing with could look like that, right? 
Maybe they pick their nose a lot or they do something weird with their nose all the time. I don't know. Maybe they have kind of like a small forehead, big lips, big ears. One arm bigger than the other. I don't know why, but I'm sure you can use your imagination, right? Just something kind of off. They kind of look troll-like. It's like this energy use fear tactics is what I'm picking up here. Emotional fear tactics. And then we have Irithel, which is the Page of Wands from the Angel Tarot. Aries, Leo, Sag energy, propagation of light. This is the energy you are now moving into or they want you to move into. It's a very enthusiastic, passionate, creative energy. It's an energy of exploration, a very free-spirited, active energy. This is the energy you're going to be encompassing moving forward. It's a very fresh energy. It's a new energy. And it feels like an energy that has just been released from some sort of mental prison. It's like an energy that's found some sort of new hope. Knight of Pentacles, Lela Hell. The praiseworthy God. Light of understanding. Acquires knowledge and cures illness. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but it's the most reliable of energies, I think. It's a very patient, hard-working energy. This is the light at the end of the tunnel, light of understanding. It gets to where it's going to. It enjoys the journey because it knows that there are many gifts along the journey. This is a very aligned energy that I'm picking up on here. Wheel of Fortune, Metatron. What did I just say? It knows that there are many gifts and blessings along the journey, right? And here it is. A Wheel of Fortune, Metatron at the third eye. The Recording Angel. Advancement and Progress. Teaches, guides, and records events in the Book of Life. This is an energy of taking the long way, Cappy. Enjoying the journey. After you've released yourself from whatever this karmic cycle is here. This is where you reap all the blessings. Listen to your intuition, Wheel of Fortune at the third eye. The divine will guide you through this. You just need to listen carefully to the messages you're getting. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, at the crown to close out the reading. God, the King of Heaven, rejuvenation, obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. Ace of Cups is all about emotional strength. It's also an energy of new relationships, friendships, for some of you, romance. It's just an overall energy of newness. So what's interesting here is I picked up on an energy of emotional abuse, mental abuse, something like this. And once you release yourself from this, you get the exact opposite of that. The highest vibration that is the opposite, which is the Ace of Cups. And look, it doesn't look like he's got a trophy in his hand. I mean, I know it's a cup, but it can be seen as like a cup trophy, right? You get the ultimate emotional gifts, however that shows up for you. It could even show up as you just really standing in your own power now, seeing how beautiful and special you really are. Having overcome all of this abuse, whatever this is here. And it's right after the Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Pentacles to Wheel of Fortune to Ace of Cups. Enjoying the journey. That's where you get the blessings, Wheel of Fortune energy. And then boom, here it is, your trophy. Ace of Cups at the crown to close out the reading. Cappy, this is the energy that's available to you should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there.
Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Cappy. Take care.